Sheriff Walt McNeil of the Leon County Sheriff's Office says victims of human trafficking occur in our community, but quite honestly, they often go unnoticed. Some are even happening right here on North Monroe. I'm Mayor Sergeant in Northwest Tallahassee. I'm looking into human trafficking in Leon County and hearing from one survivor about his experience escaping this exploitation. Survive and Thrive Advocacy Centre, a service provider for human trafficking survivors, has helped over 200 people since their inception eight years ago. People like Samir Jane. Jane knows firsthand the hardship of human trafficking, being a victim of labour trafficking for a year and a half. Michael Mulsh with the FBI tells me the number of cases of human trafficking has ballooned from about 670 in 2021 to over 1,600 cases in 2023. Samir tells me... It can happen to anyone, irrespective of gender, irrespective of colour, irrespective of race, and irrespective of age. It can happen to everyone. Locally, Robin Hassler-Thompson, executive director of Stack, says recently demand has increased, I would say, at least almost two to three hundred percent. She says these cases consist of labor and sex trafficking. About half of our caseload has always been labor trafficking, and that often surprises people because we don't see those cases in the news. We don't see the big arrests. That's exactly what happened to Samir Jain, who was groomed from India and labor trafficked in Kansas. He was forced to work 16 to 18 hour days without days off and without pay. But he was too scared to say anything. The moment you're going to raise your voice, the first thing would happen is revoke off your visa. That's what he did. And then you become a kind of a stateless person. You cannot work. You cannot go to any hospital if you need a medical. You cannot drop your kid to the school. You cannot do anything. Samir says he holds on to a lot of regret. And I blame myself. He's speaking out to help other victims. Although Samir's experience was in Kansas, Robin has one clear message. Right here in Leon County, in our surrounding areas, we have both sex and labor trafficking. It is here. Robin's comment is exactly what's sparking our series that will look into human trafficking in Leon County. Survive and Thrive tells me there are many misconceptions around human trafficking. That's what I'll be debunking next, along with area organizations. In Northwest Tallahassee, Mayor Sargent, ABC, 27.